Hello everyone and welcome to some testing in Kerbal Space Program 1.12. This is not with Realism Overhaul. This is Kerbin. We are not on Earth. It has been a long time since I did anything on Kerbin. I had a stock series for some time. Uh, I had intended to continue that stock series until KSV2 came out. Uh, but I, I, I just didn't have any sort of interest in it. <laughs> uh, but, but I recently saw that Parallax 2.0 was released and I was interested in what kind of visuals that would add and so I've loaded this install with a whole lot of visual mods and also you can see Blue Dog Design Bureau's uh, Saturn V so I've got Blue Dog Design Bureau in here and Modular Launch Pads. This craft file was uh, Modular Launch Pads own craft file for BDB's Saturn V so I just opened that up. I have not put it together and we will try it out. So yeah, this is meant to be as visually appealing an install in, cur uh, in the stock system as possible. And we will see how it goes. Though I'm using stock visual enhancements. I'll have a mod list in the video description. Uh, I'm using stock visual enhancements, not astronomer's visual pack or something like that. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, if you guys have suggestions, by all means mention them as far as mods that you don't see on the list that maybe we should throw in for like an ultimate stock system install. And I am contemplating whether uh, to scale it up to 2.5x, 3.2x for more of a challenge. But what will happen is basically I'll continue the career but we'll suddenly not be very stock anymore. <laughs> but uh, I'm thinking about that. We'll, we'll see what the premise is. But it has to look good, darn it. So let's see if it looks good. There are, there are sort of extrasolar mods, I know, stuff with uh, other star systems and all. That could be interesting. Or I could throw Kerbalism in. I don't know what uh, people would regard as uh, most interesting mix of things. Would Kerbalism be an uh, interesting thing? Would extra star systems? Do we want near future? Do we want warp drives? I don't know. Uh, so here it is, and we can see parallax in action. Uh, we can see all that scatter and trees. Now, of course, you can have terrain scatter as it is with uh, with the game. You can just turn that up, but we clearly have more than usual. Uh, I've got Kerbal Constructs in here, but none of the packs that add things just yet. Um, yeah, so we'll see. We're going to go to the moon, obviously. That's what Saturn V is all about. Uh, I should mention I have KS KS3P as a thing that is modifying the look of stuff. However, I had to turn off the ambient occlusion on KS3P because that was interfering with parallax. What ended up happening was that we had the shadow of a rather large tree right on the pad. I don't know why, but that's what happened when ambient occlusion was active on KS3P. <laughs> I also have reshade on with some reshade settings. And I've got a whole bunch of other stuff you can see there too. So we've got waterfall and all that business. So anyway, let me, uh, I've not launched this modular launch pads version of the Blue Dog Design Bureau setup. So let's see those. Okay, and then ignition. Oh, well, I guess I should have SAS on. I have Kerbal Joint Reinforcement because I did test the Blue Dog Design Bureau Saturn V on its own and it was very wiggly and I was not interested in trying to auto strut the whole thing so I mean it probably would just be the capsule to the heaviest part would be enough but Kerbal Joint Reinforce- if we're gonna have mods we might as well have Kerbal Joint Reinforcement so ignition okay and launch uh, that- some, some of these things should get out of the way <laughs> Uh, the crew access arm probably should have been just moved. Okay. I do not have mech jet. Shocking. Uh, so we get to steer manually here. I'm probably turning too quickly. We definitely need more stuff at the KSC, that's for sure. Currently, KSB is using 10 gigs of RAM. Which is impressive for the Kerbin system. Okay, separation. Pretty vigorous. Mission.
I've deliberately gone with a high drag option as far as getting to orbit. Eh, that's because we have way too much fuel anyway, so... They've got the staging of the interstage and the launch escape system together. I'll not get them separate. And now the launch escape system. Alright. I don't know, I could do with some more ambience around here. I feel like Planet Shine isn't sh Planet Shining enough. Okay, 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 that's plenty for that stage. And separation. And I don't know what those two little bits are, that worries me, but uh... Um, we could hang out until Apoapsis, but I'll just pitch down. A lot. Pitch down a lot. <laughs> okay, well that's orbit. Alright, moon. Oh, that's good enough for me. You got fuel cells. Says so. All right. Yeah, I want a different color to the planet. I'll have to see the exact color that Earth has in Scatter with the visual enhancements that I have in Realism Overhaul. I want Kerbin that color. We do have boil off apparently. Lots and lots of oil off. Well, uh, we have a reaction wheel. That's probably unnecessary, but no, well, I guess we'll just go with it. I mean, we should just be able to do all that for CS. All right, and go. Next bit, I assume, is the release of the CSM. And let's hope the docking stuff works. Let's just quickly take a look inside. I've got raster prop monitor, so we've got those. Otherwise, this doesn't look much like the interior of the CSM at all. Well, I only intend to use each stage for as long as it's supposed to be used, so we'll dump whatever fuel we have remaining once it's done what it's supposed to do. Wonder why we have some mob propellant usage. It's a bit weird. Maybe it's a mob propellant uh, fuel cell, I guess. Okay. Good enough for me. Alright, let's see if this staging is proper. Okay. Wonder why this was only half full of mod propellant. And there we go. Alright, well. What is that one? I think that's pulling the limb out, so... Alright, we can do that. Separation. Okay, that makes me worried. Separation. Lunar adapter, decouple payload. Okay, there we go. Alright. That's fine. Out we go. How does Kerbin look from a distance? I mean... It's improved. Uh, I'm not satisfied. We have more work to do. The sun flare. We need more there too. The skybox is uh, probably being dimmed by distant object enhancements right now. Let me see. Ah, uh, that's, that's waterfall. Where's distant object? Oh, there we go. Um, dynamic sky dimming. We can turn off. This is Teflon Mike's skybox, so it's a little bit understated. Okay, where is the moon? 
There's the moon. Pretty dim right now. So small. Oh, lighting change. That's, that's a serious lighting change. That gets too bright. The way the terrain fixes itself, I wish that was done a little bit earlier. Parallax is all about the ground scatter and how the ground looks, so we'll see. I've got everything turned on, including the fact that the scatter is collidable. So that's an experimental feature of Parallax too. So we will have to pick our landing spot carefully. The rocks are actually collidable. Okay, that's good enough for now. I've got ship manifest so that we can just transfer people like this. And so we'll just have Jeb and Bill go over. Or maybe uh, Bill can stay with the pod, uh, the command module, and we'll have Bob go down. Undock. Switch. Um, this doesn't have any sort of what you might call it fuel cell or anything. I guess we just go on what electric charge we've got. Uh, well, if we were gonna go with the basic idea, we should be landing in this crater. I think that would be the right crater to go for. I've got. Lots of mod propellant. I'll just bring the orbit down with mod propellant. Okay, we are approaching the target crater. Gosh, this looks bumpier than I would like. That's the thing about realism overhaul and real solar system. The stuff never gets this bumpy. Okay. Well, we're gonna find out. Maybe I should aim for a rock and see if uh, it actually is collidable. But yeah, the mesh fixing itself constantly is annoying. Okay, where is this evil scatter of doom that might kill us? Actually, I would much rather land here. Oh, look at all that! There's plenty of scatter there. Yeah, let's not go over to that bumpy part there. Let's just land here somewhere. We're definitely going to have to Neil Armstrong this and pay attention to where there are dangerous boulders and everything. Well, happy to see this is configured with the proper amount of thrust so that we can descend safely. This doesn't look like a bad spot right here. Well, no big rocks here. Oh. Oh. Okay, okay, sit down. All right. Well, let's see which rocks are collidable. EVA, please. Okay, it's Jeb's heavy breathing. Just want to make that clear. Oh, Jeb is definitely going over that one. Up. Oh. Uh, boink. Boink. Okay. Jetpack. Are the jetpacks? Okay, there we go. Oop. Yep, it's all it's all complicated now. Poink. Well, it's an experimental feature, but it sure seems to work. Boink. 
Okay, well, I'm, I'm satisfied with that. Come on. Boost up, boost up, boost up. We're just gonna go back. Okay, so parallax. Um, I might want to increase the draw distance though. Though it is using a whole lot of GPU. I've got an RTX 2070 and it's it's pretty much maxed out. Uh, it's doing all that it can. I don't know why. This doesn't seem that complicated, but yep, it's uh, it's hot day too. So there's that. Maybe it's because it's a hot day. Okie dokie. Well, let's just go back up. We don't have that much electric charge to hang out here. Looks like it's draining pretty... Oh, maybe if I take... Yeah, it was just SAS. Okay, but yeah, let's go. Um, well, uh, let's not go with this engine. Shut down. We want to activate that engine. And... Well, we could, we could, we could stage normally, actually. Uh, too late now. Okay. All right, manage it. Well, it is interesting having the train so bumpy. You just sort of skirted by here. Okay, that's good enough. We are going to catch up to the command module. Okay, there's our target. Just use some RCS for this. We've got so much. Wanted well, to see what the inside of this looks like. Well, this looks more like the limb anyway. That's that's a stock facsimile of the limb. And dot. Point three meters per second looks a lot faster when craft are this small. I have to tell you, I don't, I don't know why I need that tooltip all the time, but anyway, we are going to transfer them back. And undock. I guess extend probe didn't really matter much. Oh, I guess the couple actually gets rid of the docking mechanism. I was not expecting that. Okay, well, it doesn't make any difference. We're not going to be using it. So, time for the return home. Okay, back home we go. Uh, let's go a little bit lower. 25 sounds good. Okay, heading back. Hurting the moon. So yeah, whatever Parallax was doing on the moon, it sure gave my video card a workout, I will say that. Uh, these scenes like this aren't taking nearly as much effort. Um, capsule decoupler seems like the right thing. We don't need the RCS. And... The umbilical doesn't seem to separate separately. Oh, it does that. Okay. Um, that wasn't really what I wanted. Oh, it it does it delayed. Okay. So I got. I I, I wonder why the side. Well, whatever. Anyway, maybe that is supposed to happen. Didn't really pay much attention to where we we're coming down or anything. No, well, here we go. We're gonna end up over land, aren't we? In a tree. Maybe we'll collide with a tree. Does give extra incentive not to come back over land. Okay, well. Drug shoot. And we'll try the main shoot. Well, main shoot is waiting for 1,000 meters, I suppose. 
Uh, I think we're free from trees. There are trees around, but our little patch does not have trees. Okay, main shoots are out. A remarkably clear spot, in fact. Oh, there's grass, though. And yeah, GPU has revved up. Revved up. The green, green grass of Kerbin. Let's see, EVA. He doesn't need his helmet or anything. Does the breathing sound persist if I remove helmet? Yes, it does. Scatter. I uh, not scatter. Chatterer isn't that clever about it. Oh, those are flowers. Those are flowers. Thought they were mushrooms. I was thinking of seeing whether he'd uh, collide with those trees, but they're too far away for me to bother. Okay, so that has been my little experiment with parallax and all the other business. And well, we'll see. We'll see. I plan to add more stuff to this install and I don't know what's gonna come of it. We will find out. I think Kerbin could do with a size up but I'm worried whether Parallax will work well with it sized up. I don't know if it's compatible with rescaling or not. Uh, it was indecisive on the forum thread so I will see about that. I would like to rescale it, but Parallax has to work, otherwise we don't get all this nice business. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. And if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.